Hey what's going on guys, Horus Man here, showing you guys today how Specialist works on Call of Duty Ghosts. First off, it works 10 times differently than what it did for Modern Warfare 3, i.e. you would make a um, Specialist cast on Modern Warfare 3 with your normal starting perks, and then you'd have the three perks that you would for your Specialist, then you'd get all the perks from Modern Warfare 3. But in Call of Duty Ghosts, it doesn't work like that, you don't get all the perks, you just get some of the perks. So, I'm basically going to show you now, how it works and how specialist works. So, first off, obviously, pick your class loadout, your gun, and your lethal tactical secondary. Have that whatever the hell you want. But remember, obviously, a secondary, a tactical, and a lethal also take up um, perk slots from your starting perk. So, if you guys want to start off with, say, a load of perks, then remember you can't have secondary, tactical, and a lethal all of them at once. So, that's just the pointer. So, first off, start off with, say, your normal perks, like the quickest way to get your specialist would probably be Hardline, Stalker, sorry, Hardline, Stalker, Sleight of Hand, Amplify, basically Amplify is sit rep guys from Modern Warfare 3, it's really really powerful, and I would say a random perk, that would be what I would use, so that's the best way to get specialist at the moment, and obviously here you've got Strike Package, Specialist and Bonus at 8 kills, and your specialist will be at 8 kills. So let's just see if I can set up a class for you guys. This is just to show you how it works. So your first specialist unlock would be, let's say, scavenger. You get that straight away. That'd be three kills. But obviously you've got hardline on, so it'd be two. ICU, regenerate health, that'd be six, but that'd be five kills. And ping will be nine, but that'd be your full specialist, all your kill all your specialist perks that you would get. But at bone at at 11 kills, you would get all the perks that you would want to get with your specialist. You wouldn't get all the perks, ones that aren't unlocked and are unlocked. You won't get all of them. So basically, you want to have like the most perks that you can possibly get for getting specialist. I would have off the grid, stealth, all my stealth perks, two stealth perks, off the grid, and takedown. Ready up, resilence. Recon and on the go. Basically, that's six perks that you get with Specialist. Sorry, guys, this is quite confusing for you. It was quite confusing for me at, in the first place because it took me like 10 games to figure it all out because I was running around with Specialist and I was thinking to myself, why haven't I got like some of the perks that I haven't even got on my strike package? And it, it hit me. It, I didn't see the, bo the bottom bit, so some of you guys might get really confused, so I just thought I'd help you guys out. This is not the best class setup to use. I will show you the best Specialist class setup to use once I've got all the perks unlocked. But I have got one ready to show you guys, so in my next video or two, I will show you the best class video set up for specialists. So basically, that's how specialist works. And if you have got any questions, then let me know in the comment section below. And if I've done it completely confusing for you guys, also let me know again because obviously it's really confusing for me. It's a new game, so guys, that's how specialist works on Call of Duty Ghosts at the moment. And please drop a like and a comment. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button. And peace out and take care.